Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 46 and this is the season finale of our first year here in Germany. Um, it's not been the best year, especially after the years that we had over in Derby County. Um, but it's not been the worst and we've still got a good chance of qualifying for the Champions League. So we are going to be ending the season in today's episode, of course. So I think we've got about four or five games remaining. I didn't really um, expect it to be or didn't even realise it that it's going to be the end of the season in this episode when I started editing it. Um, but then, of course, we checked the, the last couple of games. So I played them and finished it off. And, of course, we do finish off. So hopefully we can finish off this season with... Um, Leipzig on a high and hopefully as I said qualifying for the Champions League we were in the Champions League this season and it didn't quite go too well um, for ourselves so fingers crossed we can get in there again and if we are here next season we can do a little bit better not just in Europe but obviously in the league too we want to be challenging for the Bundesliga title that's the hope uh, but as I said we're still undecided whether we want to stay here or not um, I do like playing at RB Leipzig but it's more the tactics which are letting us down uh, we're not scoring as many goals which we are used to especially in England remember when we started off we started at Derby County in the championship then we were there in the Premier League so um, we were scoring goals for fun over in England so it's not really worked out for us so far here in Germany Germany. But as I said, being undecided, we wait to the end of today's episode whether we want to stay or maybe hand in a transfer request. We did get the win there, as you see, one goal to nil. So three points in the bag. We've got a big game next up against Bayern Munich. Um, I don't think Kai's starting for this one. He's not, as you can see. We're going to have to quick sim this one. Can the teammates go out and get the job done for us? It's going to be very, very tricky, especially being away from home. And they do. Ossiman scoring after 37 minutes, giving RB Leipzig the one goal win and three points in the bag. That puts us up into six in the league, so still quite a way to go. I think that leaves us with five games total. I think it's 34 games for the Bundesliga season. Uh, so let's jump into game number three then of today's episode. Can we make it another win? Hopefully we can. Um, we really do need the, the the three points and the wins if we are going to be qualifying for the Champions League. I'm not entirely sure what the requirements are. I don't know if it's the top three or the top four in German football to qualify for the Champions League. Um, so we will obviously try and get into the top four. If we can break that, then I'll be very, very happy, of course, as Kai goes close there. Early on, five minutes gone and still no goal. But as I said, Kai having a good start. Probably could have taken off the shot before he did that little turn. Not sure what he was thinking, but still early days in this match. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying earlier on, I don't know whether we are going to be staying here it all depends on how the season ends. Whether we can grab a few goals in these last few games, that would be nice. Um, and then, of course, we will decide at the end of today's episode. That one play through here. Here is Lamar. He's going to lay off in the middle. He does. There's Kai. And boosh! Into the back of the net. 13 and a half minutes gone. Obi Leipzig leading one goal to nil here at home against Bayer Leverkusen. Will that make it three wins out of three? It would be nice if so. As I said, we are trying to uh, push up towards the top of the table. I think the, the, league ta the league title sorry, is out of our reach. But we're still going to be trying to get as high as possible. Look at that. Third league goal of the season. And we are in the season finale. So you can see how tough it's been for Kai. Uh, mainly because of the tactics here at Leipzig with the two men striking partnership. It's just not worked out for him. Osterman is the top scorer, I believe, for Leipzig. Uh, but I think on the return of that, Kai is obviously assisting a lot of those as well. So even though he has been struggling getting the goals, he has been up there with the assists. Um, so at least there's one positive out of it. Uh, but of course, if we were going to be going for assists, we would be wanting, wanting to play in that camp position as the central attacking midfielder that is really where you want to be playing for the the assist but as we are a main striker we need to be concentrating on goals and goals is what we've failed on so far this season we scored a, um, a quite a lot last season once it with Derby County so they're the kind of levels which we should be hitting and it's just not worked out for Kai so far here in Germany so as I said even if we do hand in a transfer request at the end of the season, I think if we do stay in the Bundesliga, it's only going to be for Bayern Munich. Possibly Dortmund. 
Um, but I think if we're going to stay in German football, it's got to be with Bayern Munich. Anything other than that, I think we will be, we'll be swapping to a different country. Maybe a return to the Premier League. We know that we're already settled in English football, being an Englishman as well, of course. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if we do hand in a transfer request, what kind of offers we are going to be getting. Uh, but of course, with the valuation of Kai right now, I think he is still only 20 years old, but he does have a high valuation as his stats and attributes do continue to increase, even though they have been a little bit slow this season, of course, with his lack of goals. Um, but as I said, as it is increasing slowly, his valuation is still going up as well. So I, I expect only the big teams will be coming in for Kai. Um, I don't really want to play for Real Madrid or Barcelona just yet. I don't want to be at that high a level. Um, that goes for Manchester City and Liverpool as well. Maybe if Arsenal come in for him, we could go there. Chelsea. Um, who else is in around that level? I already mentioned Bayern Munich and Dortmund, of course. Maybe go to the Italian league. Syria is always a nice place to go. Um, Leon, maybe AC Milan, Inter. Um, but as I said, we'll just wait and see. See what happens. We're not even decided where we are going to be handing in that transfer request just yet. Uh, so let's concentrate finishing off this season. And we'll see where we stand. Uh, we do have quite a few games remaining. Then here's Harvey Barnes scoring his first goal in Bundesliga football. Uh, for Leverkusen, giving them the one-goal lead, but that is the end. Uh, sorry, not the one-goal lead, the 2-1 scoreline. They pulled a goal back, uh, but that is the end of Kai's game. He goes off, and we do, thankfully, hold on for the 2-1 victory. Then three points in the bag, and so far unbeaten in today's episode, with four games remaining, I believe, here for Leipzig. We're up to fourth in the league. The title, it looks like it's going to be a battle between Hertha Berlin and Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich got to be the favourites, of course. Uh, three points clear with four games remaining. I can't really see them stumbling anymore. They did lose to um, ourselves just a couple of games ago. So oh, we're missing out on this game, which is a bit of a shame. Away against Nuremberg. What's going to be the outcome? Can we get the three points? We do a good victory there for RB Leipzig. Three goals to one. A cracking result there. And uh, that keeps us up into fourth, of course. We are just one game behind Leverkusen. So win this next one and we could be back up into third place. Uh, so here we go then against Borussia Mönchengladbach. I noticed that Lanzini is at Gladbach. And uh, we'll see how he gets on. Hopefully he doesn't have an impact in this game. We want to get Kai in on the goals. Great challenge there from Turan, but... We do have possession back early stages and so far so good. Let's try and get ourselves an early goal. Can we find the back of the net in this first half? It would be good if we can. And we have been struggling to score a bunch of goals as of late. And as you can see, we are struggling again here. No goals in the first half. No real chances for either side. So the score does remain goalless. Uh, but we are on the attack with Kai just in the middle there. Ossiman trying to make a run. Got two marking him though. Looks like we're going to have to go through the middle. Bit of space open up on this near side. Kai with possession goes into the area. A bit of skill from him. Cuts it back. And is he onside? I believe he is. Angelino. His goal is going to count. A little less than an hour gone here. RB Leipzig leading one goal to nil. Now Mönchengladbach have some work to do. Uh, but so far so good in today's episode. I can't actually believe how well we are actually playing. Even though... We're struggling to score a bunch of goals. We are getting the odd one or two when we are playing ourselves. So it's just, a nice, it's just nice to get in there. And as you can see, that is Angelino's first goal in the league this season. He is a left back, I believe. So it's not really often he gets into those kind of positions. I'm pretty surprised, actually, that he was so far forward. But we'll take it. Leading one goal to them with 15 minutes remaining. Osimhen getting replaced there. Um, 7.2 match rating now for Kai. As that ball is played forward, as Kai hovers around the area. Here he is. He takes off the long shot, deflected, but straight into the path of Guerrero, who smashes that one into the back of the net. And that is now a two-goal lead, less than 15 minutes to play. And surely that is going to be the game wrapped up. Three points for ourselves. And maybe, just maybe, we can push into that top third uh, position. I wasn't really expecting it. What were we? About six, fifth or six. In the uh, start of today's episode. But six goal of the season then for Rafael Guerrero. And it looks like we are going to be taking this one two goals to nil. Just a minute or so remaining. 
Can Munchen Gladbach pull a goal back? Hopefully they don't. We've only got one minute of added time to play. They are in possession themselves though. Just waiting for that final whistle to go. Come on, ref. Blow the whistle. Let's confirm these three points here for Leipzig. Nice little back heel. Maybe one last chance. Good block there from the defender. And I think that is going to be game over. It is indeed. So, 93 minutes played. We won two goals to nil. Another three points for Leipzig. And onwards to what? Is it two more games remaining? 33 matches played so far for the 20-year-old Kaisk. Only got nine goals all season. Which, as you would expect from his two previous seasons, is pretty disappointing on his levels. But, of course, when you do go to a new country, it does take a little bit of time to adapt. Especially when we are getting used to a new set of tactics and teammates. Uh, so I don't know whether I want to stay here in Germany if I'm totally honest. I've enjoyed the time. It's been a little bit tough and that is football for you. Uh, but I feel our home has got to be the Premier League, hasn't it? So maybe we will be going back there. But as I said, if we do hand in a transfer request, which is looking most likely as these next games go on, um, we'll just have to wait and see if any English teams come in for the services of Kai and that's still yet to be seen but here is Kai then in possession plays that one through the shot is there oh the goalkeeper got to that rebound otherwise it would have been a simple tap in but nine minutes gone still nil nil as we do win possession back just inside their own half or their half Vida Bremen's half nice ball over the top Ossiman with the volley near post and that is the breaking goal and to give us the one goal lead then as Kai rushes over to him. The striking partnership of Kai and Osman has been really good for us. Um, and hopefully now we can hold on here for the win. As I said, we are unbeaten so far in today's episode. Here is Lehmer winning possession for Leipzig. Kai just trying to get away from his marker. Cross is there. Headed down. Osman's going to react to it fastest. Here is Kai on the edge of the area. Tries to turn back and he runs into a little bit of difficulty there. But we still have possession. Played through the volley. Was it a volley or was that one across the floor? I think it was across the floor actually. But Lehmer, he scores Leipzig second. 23 or 24 minutes played I believe. And we have a nice comfortable two goal lead. And surely that is going to be the three points here for RB Leipzig. Uh, nicely played three, through here from Ossiman and Boosh. Look at the power on that. Into the back of the net. And Conrad Lehmer scores his sixth Bundesliga goal of the season. And as I said, that goal alone should give us the three points. Unless there's going to be a little bit of a fight back here from Werder Bremen. They are in possession on that far side. He's got three players around. And now even Kai has dropped deep to try and get in on the defensive duties but still Werder Bremen on the attack play through and on target with the shot and Bittencourt pulls a goal back here for the home side and um, so just over five minutes to play in the first half it is now Werder Bremen one RB Leipzig two and we need to hold on we need to concentrate we want to remain unbeaten for this season finale special uh, but good finish there not going to take that away there from Bittencourt Goalkeeper tried to rush out a little bit, probably hesitated a little bit more than he should have. But as I said, can't take away the finish there from Bittencourt. That's his third league goal of the season. So into the second half we go. Still holding on here to the, the lead. Two goals to one as Kai picks up that ball. A little bit of a skill move there from him. Turns, finds his teammate on that far side. Gets it back. Space in front of him, plays it through for Ossiman, who finds the back of the net. Another assist there for Kai, but what a finish it was from Ossiman. In off the woodwork, I believe that one. And what's that, 14 goals in the league for him. Hopefully we get to see in a second or two. But good play from Leipzig, good little through ball from Kai. And a beautiful finish it was. Just gets away from his marker there, controls it and boosh in off the woodwork, as we said. And so there we go, 18 league goals for him. Can we get him to 20? It's going to be a tough task with just one game remaining. And we've only got about one minute remaining in this one. And we just need to concentrate. Don't concede any more. Get it away, please, boys. And ref, blow your whistle. And that is going to be another victory. There it is. The final whistle blows. Three goals to one. And our former has really picked up in today's episode, you have to say. So that leaves us with one game remaining. We can't finish in the top two. You can see in the league there, 
but we can confirm our third place finish with a victory here against Cologne or Cologne. We are away from home. Let's see. As I said, if we do hand in a transfer request after this game, uh, this could be the last time we see Kai playing for RB Leipzig. Um, so can we finish off if we do leave with a goal or two? We want to finish at least with a victory whether Kai gets himself in on the goals. Um, it doesn't really matter. But Angelino, that's his second goal of the season. It's his second goal of today's episode. He's left it late, hasn't he, to start grabbing goals. But what a finish it was. Again, very, very powerful shot. Looks like a 14-year-old, as uh, Lewis mentioned in the previous comment section. But there we go. What a finish it was. Kai was in on the build-up as well. Played nice little one-two. Left Angelino just to run into the area. Pretty free and open. Uh, as we said, he likes to run into those sections in today's episode. And there he is with his second goal of the game. So, just over 20 minutes played. We are leading by one goal to nil. Kai's in a bit of space here. Can he score? Oh, is it the wood, woodwork? But went straight into the feet of Nkunku. Or however you want to pronounce his name. How is his name spelled, actually? Is it Nkunku? We'll wait in a second. I'm not entirely sure how his name is spelled, but he is there. He is the goal scorer. He was quickest to react. Kai shot, hit the woodwork, bounced straight to his teammate. Um, boom, look at that. He can't really miss from there, could he? Um, but there we go. Another goal for Leipzig. This is his first goal of the season for Christopher Nkunku. And there we go. Beautiful time to score then for him right at the end of the season. Hopefully he has a little bit more of a say next season. Uh, but let's try and get ourselves... Kai a goal if we can. Here is Osimhen. Nice little one-two. Kai's going all the way. His shot was blocked. Keeps possession. Cuts it back. Tries to find a teammate somehow still there with the ball. Osimhen lays that one forward and off the woodwork. And again, falls straight to the feet of a Leipzig player. Less than half an hour gone. And we are leading three goals to nil. Osimhen there with his 19th league goal of the season. He just needs one more to hit 20 for the year and uh, that would be nice if we can get him to 20 goals but look at that nice bit of luck again but he had to react fast to that one he was up in the air and look at that manages to get his boot around it and volley it into the back of an empty goal and there is confirmation Victor Osiman scoring his 19th league goal of the season he just needs to get him one more I'd rather him get his 20th than Kite score what his third or fourth goal Here's Osiman then. Plays that one forward for Kai as he turns inside. Tries to play it through, but good defensive work there by Cologne. And they are going to get the ball forward, or are they? They've lost possession. Here is the, one of the goal scorers. Plays that one forward for Angelino. There is Kai. Kai! He's in for his possible final appearance in a Leipzig shirt to score his fourth league goal of the season. Only four goals in the league. That is pretty dreadful, to be honest. But remember, we have been substituted a lot, um, which has been a bit of a shame throughout this season. But his stamina, his fatigue's been a little bit low throughout the year. Uh, but that is a nice finish there. And that is the fourth goal. What an ending this is going to be to the Bundesliga season. And as, of course, with that um, fourth goal for Leipzig I think that is pretty much game over so it looks like we are going to be finishing third in the league uh, which is not too bad here for Leipzig especially with the off season which Kai's had imagine Kai hitting 20 30 goals this season I think we would really have been pushing for a league title push but there he goes he's get gets replaced with 20 minutes to play and uh, we do hold on to a 4-2 victory. Duda actually scored two goals there in the final 15 minutes. But as I said, we did hold on for the win. Bayern Munich drew there at the end. And as you can see, that draw for Bayern Munich gifted the league to Hertha Berlin, who take the Bundesliga then. Two points clear. They are the German champions. Confirmation that we did finish in third in the league. Uh, so not too bad. Uh, Dortmund finishing down there in six. We'll scroll down quickly if you want to see the rest of the teams as well. Uh, but I think with the end of the season, guys, I am going to hand in a transfer request here at RB Leipzig. We have enjoyed the time, even though it's been a little bit tough trying to get it in on the goals. I think it's time to move on. Um, so let's just have a look at the top scorers. Ossiman actually finished top scorer in the league. Nobody broke 20 goals, which is a bit of a shame. Kai's not even in the top 20. He only got four league goals. Well, let's have a quick look at the assists. 
And Kai second on the assist list there with 11 in 25 matches. So much better on the assist than he was on the goal. So let's hand in that transfer request. Let's try and get ourselves a move away in the summer. And we'll see what country we do go to in the next couple of months or so. But I hope you did enjoy that season finale, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.